everyone, it's Tony. Now in today's show, I want to show you how I made my own designer baskets and vase using dollar store rope and jute. But first, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about my sponsor and favorite online learning place, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come to take their next step in their creative journey. There are thousands of classes and categories like illustration, photography, creative writing, filmmaking, marketing, freelancing, and much more. Skillshare is designed to meet the needs of all levels, from beginners, pros, dabblers, and masters. So you can find a class that's just perfect for you and take it at your own schedule. Now, since I do my own teaching on YouTube, I was so excited to see that there was a new class by one of my favorite creators, Marquise Brownlee. It's called YouTube Success Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD. In his class, he takes you through the whole process from researching topics, scripting, shooting, editing, posting, and growing your channel. For me, this class was invaluable. Now, along with my YouTube channel, I have other businesses and projects, and sometimes it's hard to stay organized and get things out on time. So another valuable class for me was this new one by Thomas Frank. It's called Productivity for Creatives. Build a system that brings out your best. In this class, he teaches you how to build systems within your mind and within the real world to help you get your creative work done more efficiently. He also has some really cool bonuses, conversations with other professionals. I just love it. Skillshare is ad-free and also incredibly affordable. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Plus the first 1,000 of you to click on the link in the description below will get a free premium membership. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's new live classes. Experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working alongside other members. There is nothing better than getting better. Experiencing your own growth is extremely satisfying and Skillshare's online classes can make that possible for you. Now let's be productive and get to work. Now I was cleaning up my craft studio the other day and I noticed that I had a whole lot of rope and jute that I had been collecting over the years from Dollar Tree in different places. And since I was just online looking for baskets to help organize my office, I ran across these really unique sort of designer baskets that were made of rope. I thought they were really artsy. So I wanted to use the rope that I had and see if I can make some really functional art pieces. For my first basket, I'll be using nautical rope that I found at Dollar Tree. I'm using it in white and a natural color. Also from Dollar Tree, I'm using a small round wooden plaque and a large plastic bowl for shape molding. You will also need craft glue with water and the hot glue gun with Gorilla Glue Sticks. Okay, I'm going to start by covering my craft table with some plastic because I will be using glue and water and it'll get a little messy and wet. And I'm using this large plastic bowl to set the shape of my basket. And I am also using this round wooden plaque I found at Dollar Tree. I thought this would be a nice base for my basket just to give it a little weight and to give it a nice flat base to start with. So I'm going to cut this little rope off for hanging and I'm going to turn my bowl upside down and put this on the bottom of my bowl. Now the wooden piece will be a part of my basket but the plastic bowl will not. So I am taping the wooden piece to the bottom of this bowl temporarily to keep it in place and I'll be using the bowl just to form the shape of my rope basket. Okay, so I want to make a nice design with rope. Um, so I'm using two different colors. I'm going to use this nautical rope I found at Dollar Tree 
This is a pretty fat rope. It's a nice thick weight. And I have this natural color and I have white. So I think I'm going to do a cool design using the two colors. I'll start by rolling the natural color around the bottom part, the base. So I'm going to start by putting hot glue on the wooden piece around the top edge. And I am using Gorilla Glue for this glue sticks um, to make it extra strong. Now that I went all the way around, I'm going to cross the rope over the top down to the next level and make another row down at the bottom part of the wooden piece. I'm going to keep going around and around. Now since I don't want to glue this onto the plastic bowl at this point, I'm only going to put glue onto the rope to attach the rope to the piece in front of it. Okay, so now that I have the base pretty much done, I want to start making a cool design for this. I sort of liked the shape of one of the wavy baskets that I saw. So I think I want this one to be wavy too. And I'm going to use um, that wavy pattern as a design. So I'm going to make some loops in here to make waves by looping the rope out some and just gluing sections to the base. I think I'll go around again and do another set of waves on top of waves. Okay, so this is what I have so far, and I do like this wavy pattern. So I'm going to now start adding my white rope to this. And I think I want to put the white rope on the outside and in the inside of the waves. And again, I want to be careful to just put the hot glue on the rope and not on a plastic bowl because I want to remove this bowl when I'm done. And this white rope is extra thick so I want to try to tuck that in and put the hot glue around mostly the top um, edge so that it was, doesn't seep through and stick to the bowl. Now this white rope is really thick so when you cut it it frays a lot so you may want to put a little hot glue on the end after you cut it just so it'll stay together, stay twisted together. Or use something to really tuck the ends in. And I'll just make up the design as I go. I'm going to add a natural piece here as part of the end curve. I'm going to use something to poke those pieces in. And like I said, I glue some of the edges to stop it from fraying. So that I don't burn my fingers. I'm using a piece of cardboard to pinch it together, the ends together. And that'll make it easier when I'm gluing this down to the rope below it. But this section I'm doing sort of a circular coil design just to make it a little more interesting. Now very frequently you might want to take a screwdriver to stick underneath because some of that hot glue does seep through. And if you turn it over you can see what a hot glue is on the bow. And just use the pliers to detach it before it gets too hard. So this is what it's looking like after I filled in all the waves with white rope. And I think I, I'm going to do a couple of more rows to make this a, a higher basket. So I'm going to do a couple of rows with the natural color. 
just around the border. I had to keep checking to make sure it's not sticking. Then I want to do a couple rows of white. And now I think I'm done. I like the size, I like the design and shape. I'm just going to go through to make sure that there's no hot glue sticking to the bowl before I do my next step. Now the next thing I want to do is just to finish this off I want to make this basket a little bit stiffer. So in a big bowl I'm going to mix some glue with some water about equal parts. Mix that up and I'm going to use a paintbrush to really soak the rope with the glue mixture. And by the way, I'm using Elmer's glue, um, just regular craft glue. You can get craft glue at Dollar Tree. I got that big one that I'm using from Walmart. And this will dry clear, so don't be afraid to soak it in. The more glue you add, the harder and stiffer it'll be when it dries. So I'm just going to coat this whole piece and set it aside to dry. Now after the outside is dry, it's pretty stiff on the outside and it stands up, but it's still um, soft on the inside. It can still bend it. You could paint the inside with glue also to make it more stiff, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to put a little hot glue where the indentations are and pinch that in to give it more of a curly shape, more three dimensional and more interesting. So I'm just going to pinch that and hold that a little while. And I like that. It gives it a more interesting shape. Now the last thing I'm going to do for this piece is add some rope in the inside to cover up that wooden base. And here is my little custom designer basket. Now for my next piece I'm using jute, another round wooden base, and a balloon. I'm also using the craft glue and water mixture. All these I got from Dollar Tree and my metallic acrylic paint. Now I saw a video of this technique to make a lampshade and I'll try to leave the link in my description tab. But I thought I could make a nice basket vase using this technique. So I blew up a balloon about the size I want my vase. So I am going to tape the bottom of this balloon to the base. I also want to give this some weight and make it flat at the bottom so that the vase will sit up nice and straight. So I just want to make sure that it's nice and centered and I'll use a couple of pieces of tape to adjust it to make sure the balloon is where I want it. Now using my glue mixture of one part glue, one part water, I'm going to take this twine, this jute that I have and I'm going to drop the whole spool into the bowl of the glue mixture. Now my surface is covered with plastic and I'm putting on gloves because this will get messy. And I'm starting at the base and I am going to glue the jute around the base of this piece. And after I finish the base I'm just going to start wrapping the jute around the balloon. And I'll just keep going around and around in every direction to cover every part of the balloon. I'm even going to go underneath the base until I got most of the balloon covered. And I think I am at the end of my rope. And this is um, just perfect. I think I have enough covered. I'm just going to tuck this end piece in down here at the bottom. And you can adjust the pieces if you want. 
if you have some um, spaces that you want to cover up I'm going to open up the top a little I want this to be a vase so I want flowers to fit in but I may end up cutting that after it dries so I'll set this overnight in front of a fan to dry but first I'm just going to pour the rest of that glue mixture on top of it I want it to be extra hard since it's just string and after it's completely dry it is very hard look at that so I am going to pop this balloon and take it out now I do want to be able to put fresh flowers in here so I want to be able to put a vase in and this hole is a little too small so I'm going to cut it so that I can fit a vase in and I'm just going to cut an irregular shape I think I'll cut along this line here just so that I could fit a vase inside And I have a very nice, unique looking basket vase. And let me just trim that a little closer along the edge. A very cool. The only thing about this is the white base at the bottom. Since you can see through it, you can see that white base. So I think I'm going to paint that just to tone it down. I'm going to use a little bit of my bronze metallic paint. And just covered the inside of that circle. I actually decided to paint all of the inside bronze. You know what? Why not paint the whole thing? I'm going to paint the outside too. On the outside, I think I'll mix a little gold in with it and brush it all over. I'm going to try to get into most of the cracks with bronze. and then lightly brush the outside with gold and oh wow I really like the way this turned out and look at how perfect this goes on my kitchen table I love it. It has a real sophisticated look and it goes with my whole decor. Plus my coffee filter flowers look great in this vase. Okay, for my last basket I am going to use this rope. That's pretty much the same as the one I used in the first project. But this one I got from Walmart. I had a big spool of it in my supplies so what I'm doing is I started a coil I'm just rolling the rope around itself using the hot glue to glue the rope together and I just created an oval shape this is about six inches and this will be the bottom part of my basket now on each side I want to make handles to hold the basket so I'm going to so I'm going to glue this down till I get close to the center and I'm going to measure out a loop about 8 inches and then glue the other end of the handle down to the coil so that it's centered on the side then I'll glue the rope around to the other side and do the same thing. Then I'll glue that rope all the way around again, attaching it to the handles to make a double rope handle on both sides. Now when I go all the way around again, I get to the handle. I'm going to tuck the rope underneath the handle and attach it to the base from underneath the handle. Then I go over the other part of the handle, then attach it to the base. 
Then around to the other side, you're going to do the same thing under and over the handle. And when you get back to the first handle, it's going to be over and under. And this is what that is looking like now. Now the next thing I'm going to do is just twist the handles here. Put a little hot glue there. And now the bottom of my basket is pretty much done. I want to start bringing the basket upward. So I'm taking a rope from a little below the center of the curve, hot gluing it to the handle and wrapping it around that handle twist. And of course, whatever you do, you're going to do the same on the other side. And I went around this one more time and did the same, a double rope line. And so now on the center side, I want to start doing a design. I'm going to do a little loop here. I did another loop next to it. And when I get to the handles, I do over and under again more loops or rather waves on this side. Then when I get around again I'm doing just a straight line on top of those waves. So after the single line I did another group of loops around and then another single line on top of those. And where the loops touch, I'm just going to wrap some twine around it, that jute that I had. Just a small piece on each of them with some hot glue. But after the base and the handle, you can pretty much do any design you want. Add corals or different designs and add different colored rope. But this is what I came up with. And I think it's a very lovely little basket. I can see some office or crafting supplies in here or it'll make a lovely little fruit basket on my counter at any rate i have my own custom unique baskets it's amazing how i can almost decorate my whole kitchen with a little rope and glue need a little more detailed instructions on some of these projects on my Etsy store for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. With all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show. And you can add them all to your cart for the one-click, fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.